so when we got a call in 2018 from a new organization that we'd never heard of called the Regenerative Organic Alliance, asking us if we'd be interested in joining a new program called Regenerative Organic Certified. Once they explained it to us, it just made so much sense. It basically takes the soil health pieces of biodynamics and separates it from the more mystical pieces and then adds to it like a direct focus on use of resources like non-renewable energy and groundwater, reducing your, your dependence on these shared resources. Um, and finally adds pillars on animal welfare and on farm worker fairness that we have not seen in any other certification. So for us, it's, it's sort of the gold standard of what great farming can be uh, for the land, for the people, for the working animals, for the community and for the broader environment. Um, and points the way that farming can be a part of the solution to big picture challenges like resource scarcity and climate change, as opposed to not just not contributing to the problem. Can wine save the planet? This industry is diving into a multitude of ways to support the environment. Vineyards, both large and small, are embracing farming methods that revitalize their soils without chemicals and without tilling. This in turn sequesters carbon, which, my friends, is a huge factor in mitigating climate change. But they take this further, reducing their carbon footprints with renewable energy, waste reclamation, and conservation creating biodiversity on their properties and reducing their impact on the environment with new and sometimes old methods of packaging. They are looking at integrating the human element, creating community and respect within their teams and beyond in their larger communities. Each vineyard has its own path, its own story. By sharing these stories, they inspire a movement that, yes, can save the planet. The reason we went for it was because uh, if there's an, there's an availability of farming practices that are at the highest echelon for any agricultural product, why would you not go for that, right? I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. So for us, especially with wine grapes, um, you know, we, we talk about this concept of terroir, and I think at the end of the day, if you're going to magnify that sense of terroir, you have to be as quiet as possible and work with nature symbiotically in a very cyclical manner. I mean, it, it's just all logic in, in a way. So it's hard to argue not to do it, especially considering we live here. So we have kids, you know, we have dogs and cats. We don't want them uh, getting sprayed with toxic chemicals. It doesn't make any sense. Also, you're in a major tourist area here, and the last thing you want to see is a hazmat symbol, or you know, a, a skull and crossbones symbol in a vineyard, when the whole sole purpose of here is a romantic getaway, perhaps with your spouse. So, I mean, all of it, it's hard to argue any other way uh, past not using that, because at the end of the day, it's, it's, uh, it's what points people to health, safety, and ethical farming. Yeah. Can One Save the Planet is the name of our first feature film, but this project is much bigger than that. We have assembled a network of writers to help us tell these stories. These writers are passionate about wine and are spread around the globe to give us perspectives from different regions. In healthy soil, you find a network of mycelia. These threads of mycelia connect at least 95% of the plants on our planet and what are called mycorrhizal networks. These healthy networks feed and support the plants. Think of this project as our own mycorrhizal network, sharing and supporting the works of these vineyards, making delicious wines while helping to save the planet. We need all of you to contact your family and friends, wine clubs, and social media friends. We need the community to add their voice. We have a fiscal sponsor, the International Documentary Association, to help us fund this project, and your donation can be tax deductible. 
On the International Documentary Association donation page, you can help us fund this movie. You can donate any amount, 10, 20, 50, 100, or more to help us capture these different stories. If you have a fundraising background, we need help spreading the word. Please contact us. Can wine save the planet? Yes. It can get the ball rolling with biodynamic and regenerative organic vineyards and with people like you supporting them, spreading the word and encouraging other businesses to join this movement. Share this video. Visit canwinesavetheplanet.com for more videos about this project. While you are there, sign up for our email list. Or if you want to participate in another way, let us know. Our website has places where you can contact us to get involved. Watch for our video diary as we film these and more participating wineries. Add your voice. Thousands of small donations will show the world that we want change. This is not just a one and done film. It is a multi-year project with three feature films, plus additional film shorts to be presented at film festivals. We will also have educational videos available on our YouTube channel. You can subscribe at the link on the screen. Join us at CanWineSaveThePlanet.com. Find and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CanWineSaveThePlanet.com.